Welcome to Crotoni Entertainment. I'm Chris, and tonight we're going to go without Brie. Not because she didn't want to be here, but because this is a really short video, and I know we get off track when we talk together. Uh, we're going to talk about war games tonight, because it occurred to me a lot of people don't know what a war game truly is, who paint the heroes of the grid figures, uh, which is the bread and butter of this channel. So basically, a war game is when you play a game that's going to simulate some kind of conflict between two forces. Typically, this can be represented by individual models, or it can be represented by groups of models uh, lumped together in units where they travel together and have to be within a certain distance of each other. Uh, you're going to select these models by paying a certain number of points um, as dictated by whatever game you're playing. I'm not going to get into specifics in this video about individual games, uh, but dictated by number of points, and every model is going to have statistics that are going to tell you things like how far it moves, which you, you usually will do with a tape measure, um, sometimes with a movement stick, um, and typically you'll have some kind of ability to just move along a straight line, uh, and you're going to measure that out with your you know, in inches or centimeters or with some kind of template. Typically, you have some kind of terrain on the table that can impede or help your model, so maybe you have to move around it. And sometimes you may not want to move your models. And like I said, all these numbers are going to be dictated by the game that they're in. Um, but simple things to represent moving your models across a battlefield. Um, you're also going to use uh, individual models to perform other actions, like casting spells, picking up tokens, uh, and doing things of the like. After you've done your actions, depending on the game, your opponent's going to get to do actions. So maybe you'll move and then they'll move. Maybe you'll do do everything you can do in a single turn, and then they'll do everything they can do in a single turn. Um, maybe there'll be some other kind of alternating activation process. It all depends on the game you're going to play. Uh, typically, models with ranged weapons, such as bows or guns, are going to have the ability to shoot at other models that are not in base contact with them. Uh, typically, they'll have a, a range on their weapon, and if you're within range, you'll get a chance to roll a certain amount of dice uh, dictated by the game and the weapon. We'll just pretend it's a six-sided dice for this model to make it easy. Usually, you're going to want to roll high. A six, in this case, would be a very good number to roll. Uh, maybe you'll have to roll an additional die to see if damage goes through, or you might get some kind of defense roll uh, on the model you're targeting, and that defense roll may negate some of the damage. Again, this is dictated by the game you're playing. Typically, low numbers are worse, and high numbers are good. Uh, a lot of times, a single damage is enough to pull a model off the table, but again, that depends on the game. Some games will have multiple damage. Um, after you've done your shooting, typically you'll have some kind of melee uh, in a war game as well. And melee is usually dictated by models in base to base or very close, and you roll a number of dice equal to the number of attacks you carry. A simple model might have one attack, whereas something like a hero or a stronger model with a better weapon may be rolling multiple dice for their attack and taking any scores that roll high enough to hit. Uh, the hit number is going to be dictated by the game. Sometimes it's a straight roll, say a five or better. Sometimes it's a roll on a chart versus another model. But typically, if you roll high enough and your opponent loses roll enough on defense, you'll remove another model or do some damage. Sometimes when this happens, you'll also create some kind of morale or leadership situation where a model will roll two dice or one dice and compare the numbers, you know, sometimes taking the high numbers, sometimes adding them together, again, depends on the game, and see if their models lose their morale, and if they do, they may actually flee from the battlefield and run away. This is the basics of how some simple things in wargaming go, again, without being game-specific. But you've got your movement, your shooting, your fighting. You'll add in other things like picking up objects, exploring things, casting magical spells, and things of that nature. How you win the game will be dictated by each individual game. Sometimes that'll mean killing the opponent, sometimes it'll be uh, claiming certain parts of the battlefield, and sometimes it'll be picking up certain items and retreating from the battlefield with them. You'll also uh, be able to play bigger games or smaller games, and some games are also played kind of as a campaign, where your models will get better or have a chance of being permanently injured from game to game, but typically those are longer commitments for certain people. There are a number of different war games you can get started in. Um, this particular uh, set of models is from DGS Games. It's a game called Free Blades. Uh, it feels very similar to a mix between uh, Dungeons and Dragons and a traditional war game uh, due to the unique dice that they roll. Uh, there are plenty of other games too, like Star Wars Legion is an excellent game. Uh, one Page Rules puts out a number of games that are easy to digest and they are all absolutely 100% free to play. Um, Star Wars Legion is also free rules, but you do have to purchase the models uh, typically through them to get the rules for the individual uh, units. DGS Games offers their rulebook for a one-time cost of $10. Every time they update the rulebook after that, you may download the rulebook 100% for free to keep playing the game. These are some absolute basics on war games, and there are plenty other ones out there, but I do encourage you to at least try one of them out, maybe look at one-page rules, maybe find somebody in your local area who can show you Free Blades, because both of those are wonderful games. Finally, if you continue following our channel, we're going to continue converting Heroes of the Grid models into one-page rules armies, so if you play Heroes of the Grid, you'll already have the figs to play the game. You just need to download the rules and find a friend to play with. This has been Crotoni Entertainment. Like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.